Boom, 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 boom. Exciting music. Boom, 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 boom. What's gonna happen? Boom, 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 boom. Is a monster gonna make me jump? Boom, boom, boom. Probably yes. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Greetings, friends. I'm Ian Higton, and this is Knocked, which, according to the Steam page, is a 2D top down multiplayer survival horror game that blends arcade combat with RPG survival elements. That sounds exactly the sort of game that I would freaking love. So I'm going to try it out right now for you guys. Um, first up, I should show you that um, you can play online if you want. You can set up your own server. You can also join servers. Uh, but there's not really much action online at the moment. I'm putting that down to the fact that this is an early access beta. But as you can see, there's only three servers going at the moment. One is a dedicated UK server with only one person in. And then there's a couple of US servers. But really, there's only four people online playing at the moment. So it doesn't look like the busiest game if you fancy some online action. Uh, instead of doing online stuff, I'm going to just jump straight in and do uh, what I think is the single player campaign. So here we go. Locating survivor. Yes, please, sir. So here we go. Active survivors one. Um, I'm playing with a joypad and it controls like a twin stick shooter. Left stick to move, right stick to aim. They look like a little thing I need here. What is this? A to pick up, I'm hoping. Yep, there we go. Exmit, you got the GPS. Okay, cool. Weapons in the next room. Is this one weapons? You're armed, now I need your help. Okay, so Exmit isn't me. Rekov, how can I trust you? Um, what choice do you have, says Exmit. Waypoint set, press pad north to view map. Okay, here we go. So this is the map. I can't move the map. You can fire your weapon by pressing right trigger. So I've actually seen screenshots of this game and um, what first drew me to it was uh, the fact that the camera angle is taken from the viewpoint of, I guess, of what it would be like if you were um, flying an AC-130 plane, the kind of plane the American forces have, you see in the news reports and you've played in a Call of Duty game where you you see in thermal visioning and you drop bombs on people. Uh, I can't move the map screen around, but it looks like um, it's the viewpoint of the map is slowly moving, like the plane is circling the, uh, the survivor. So that's quite cool that the camera is all taken in some kind of AC-130 viewpoint. You've got um, data in the top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left, um, showing, I guess, your uh, compass points and also what your weapons in the bottom left. Uh, but I'm heading off now to the top left of the map towards the view, uh, towards the checkpoint was a point of interest and I'm walking through some trees through woods I can see my uh, the character's body heat through the trees I accidentally pressed it a minute ago but if I press down on d-pad it changes the uh, the heat view it inverts the heat view I guess I don't know if there's a special name for that but uh, yeah anyway it looks, it looks suitably foreboding and apocalyptic like this. And, uh, I, I, and the music is also really quite tense. Uh-oh. My guy just said, uh-oh. Alright, hopefully that doesn't mean we've got bad guys around. Still heading towards the view... Oh, God! Is that it? That's okay. That's one, one, a, a brutal one-hit kill, and then you're dead. Um, that's rather savage. Uh, locate another survivor. I wasn't expecting that. The monsters kind of just pop out of nowhere, and um, yeah, just destroy you with one touch. So Xmit wants me to get 
my weapons back off the survivor that just died, I guess. Is it okay? Is it weird if I'm okay with that? Says Wreck of... I think that'll be fine. Okay, there's my dead body. It's a bit of a bit of a smoosh on the floor now, though. Uh, okay, we've got another bad guy. This time it's a giant ant. I like how the uh, the audio of the gunfire is slightly muffled. Killed the ant. It's also also got a rogue-like element to it. Oh my god, those things are huge. Where you can't see things that are out blocked by your Oh my god. Oh this is game is not easy. Yeah, you can't see things that aren't in your immediate view. Which isn't gonna help the fact that things can easily jump out at you and destroy you in one smooth movement uh, right on a corpse close by so all my weapons are again on a corpse next to hundreds of bad guys <laughs> well at least it feels like hundreds about two or three and in an area where I've probably angered a load of them as well so let's keep going is that all if I click in left stick there's sprinting can I go in here? I can go in here as well. What have I got in here? Pistol ammo. I've got an SMG at the moment. Can I select weapons? I've just made my weapon... Oh, God damn it. What? <laughs> oh, my God. What the hell? These enemies kind of seem like they can walk through walls. God knows how I killed the first one. Oh, I melee hit. I, I hit it with a melee weapon. So I'm not too far away, so maybe melee weapon is the way to go instead of guns. Um, I... Oh. Okay, RB... RB scrolls through your guns, or at least brings up your guns. So melee... Maybe melee's the one you've got to stick with. It made me jump that last time. Did it really come through the walls of the house? I think it must have done, yeah. There's my gun from before. I don't think that's done anything, really. There's some ammo. Possibly that popped out of the building. Yeah, there was no way into the building before. So enemies can just walk through walls. I'm going to try and... Okay, batting enemies is a lot better than shooting them. But I guess you've got to get a bit closer to bat the enemies. There's a grenade. I need to be on the other side of this car and not get trapped in it. Uh-oh, he says. So that's not good. Let's... Pick up everything and get inside this house. There's another. I've already got an SMG. Is there another exit? There is another exit. Okay. View um, waypoint is now. I keep thinking I'm going to say waypoint. Viewpoint is down south now. So let's head that way. I'll maybe do a little bit of sprinting. Try and get out of here. Waypoint is set. Press north to view map. So it's right down on the coast. Let's keep going. Fire my weapon with right trigger. Thanks, I've worked that out already. Pressing X will reload. That's probably useful, though. Useful to know. Here we go. Okay, sprinting. Get the auxiliary pump valve from the cargo ship. Okie dokie, I'm thirsty. Right, so I guess I need to find food and drink as well, so I'll be on the lookout for food and drink. Is this the right way? Yeah. Oh, what's this? SMG ammo. Lovely. Um, so, I can't sprint when I'm thirsty. Just like in real life. What have we got here? We've got an MK18 rifle. Can I swap between guns? I swap between pistol and a rifle. My SMG has an extra mag to it though. I'm gonna pick up the med kit. God knows how you sort out how you do the med kit. It's locked. Okay. Xmits found the key. 
Alright, where is it? Located on a corpse at the end of the door. The dock. Okay, right. Corpse on the dock. We got a corpse on the dock. Let's go. There it is. Another smooshed corpse on the dock. Mine, right. That key will access the ship. Okay, back in. Uh, you don't get very much sprint. Like, I'm not the fittest person in the world, but I could sprint for longer than this guy does before, like, never being able to sprint again without having a drink. But he literally sprinted for about three seconds before, like, just packing it up and not being bothered anymore. Right, key. I have the valve! Excellent. Back up again. We need the remaining parts. Fine by me. Sooner I can get out of this crazy infested place, the better. Oh, I can't go that way. I need to go through. Oh god. What the? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. What the? That's. That looks like a boglin. Am I even hitting it? Screw you, boglin! Holy crap, I killed a boglin. That was pretty big. Can I reload? Wow. I, I was a bit too scared to take that on with my uh, with my melee weapon. That looked a little bit too big. All right, let's keep going. Anything down here? Any little secrets? I've not really tried looking around for stuff. Is there one long pier? Nope, that's as far as it goes. I presume, being a survival RPG, there'll be buildings you can go into and loot and stuff like that. Boom, 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 boom. Exciting music. Boom, 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 boom. What's gonna happen? Boom, 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 boom. Is a monster gonna make me jump? Boom, boom, boom. Probably yes. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, sorry. Right, let's keep. Actually, let's look at my map. How far have I got to go? I've not got too far to go. I think on that like tiny dot on the map, you can't control yourself in this view. Don't know whether being in that view pauses the action or not. I don't really want to test it out when monsters are around, just in case. What have we got here? Okay. It's got a new viewpoint. Electrical components close by. Okay. Can I go through the door? Yes. Ooh, look, we've got a gun. MA rifle. Okay, that's got more weapons. That's, that's more ammo. And I think I got what I needed there. Oh! Yeah, take that, Anty. Yeah, so, ants are pretty easy to work. One shot with a... A club. These things... Not so sure about. I don't know what they are. They're like... Pissed off mutant crocodiles. Killed one of them, though. Yeah, killed you, you pissed off mutant crocodile. Okay. More electrical components. Get. Pistol ammo. Get. Um. Holy shit! Ah, oh, that is not fair that they can walk through walls. Locate another survivor. I don't like that. They can just, like, walk through walls and one-shot you with no warning. That that seems a little unfair to me. Hopefully that is something that will be tuned during early access. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Yoink. Right, that rifle is out of ammo. Let's get the SMG, because that does have ammo and it's got a low extra mag. Okay, reloading, sprinting, 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 and there we go, tired. Screw you, Willy Worm! And you dino douche! Right, Willy Worm can be splattered pretty easy. That ant is massive! Keep away from me. These are like little mini tremors, I guess, rather than Willy Worms. I'm not sure what a Willy Worm is. I'm going the wrong way. Giant ants can 
suck a fat one. Right, next objective is in this building. Oh, I killed him. Do they drop anything? Is there anything that I can... No. Oh, I've got no ammo. Oh, fuck! No! Alright, so... I've successfully tested the fact that your melee weapon does not work on the big... <laughs> the big things, only the little things. The last survivor I was helping didn't make it. Yep. You are correct about that. I've got a grenade. How do I get the grenade going? Um, what's in here? Right. I've got a thing. A water ration. There we go. And I've got a UP7. So I've got a pistol and a UP7. Both got okay ammo. And I've got a water ration now. Not 100% sure how you use your water. Perhaps it's just used automatically. I also have a grenade. Not sure how I use my special grenade. I should probably kind of try and work that out, shouldn't I? What's this here? One more of something. Okay. One more of something. Uh oh, he's saying. Uh oh, spaghettios. Anything in here? There is a. I don't know. It's, uh, screw it. I'm not going to pick it up. Just a, right. I can get you, mini tremor, with my uh, with my big whack off stick. What? Wait, what? Got them. Rifle and a grenade. <gasps> Shah for Jesus Christ! That is so unfair! Hmm. I know this is a survival game and everything, but... Maybe that's just a little bit too brutal. Go loot this survivor's carcass. That's chuffed up! Lol! I replaced the F word with a slightly less rude word. Don't make this any weirder than it needs to be. Ah, oh, you f- oh, come on! Perhaps I'm rushing too much. Perhaps you've got to be really slow with this game. Come on, you little man. Right. You, sir, getting a shooting right in the face. Come on. Come here. Don't mess with me. Oh, God. Don't! Jesus! Right, one last try. There is now, like, three dead bodies right next to each other creating some kind of feeding frenzy for all the local scary wildlife. And I've got to go right inside that feeding frenzy and get all the stuffs. Brilliant. There's no ammo in there. This, this has got ammo. I can't. I'm stuck on the doors. There we go. Okay, right. Yoink, 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 yoink. No, yoink. yoink. Oh, I can. That's okay. I can deal with him. Grenade. No frick shit! Oh, for crying out loud. They just walked through the walls. Alright, so first impressions of this game is I like the premise. I like the look of it. I like the presentation. It's got a lot of promise. But at the moment, I, it needs a bit of fine tuning because... It's slightly, I say slightly frustrating. It's very frustrating the fact that the enemies can kill you so cheaply. And with milliseconds of warning. Uh, I think maybe give the survivors some hit points. Give the, make the houses solid. 
because I can't walk through these walls. Why does it go dark like that? I'm not sure I like that. Does that mean enemies are around? Uh-oh. Right. So, yeah, I can't walk through walls and enemies can. That strikes me as slightly unfair. Even, <laughs> even though we are in some kind of virtual apocalypse. Which features big ants. Tremors like willy worms. And crocodouches. I did manage to get it out of there. Get out of there finally. I was going to give up, but now I now I managed to just hammer in and out. I've got quite a way to go though. Lots of uh, lots of buildings to view. You can't you zoom in or out with this. No. I'm thirsty again. Oh yeah, my water is out. F okay, H okay. I guess that's food and heat. Would it be heat? I found a med kit. I don't really know why. what the purpose of a med kit would be, considering everything kills you outright. Come on. What is the next step? Now I've got all these... Uh, all these electrical parts. I don't think I'd want to be chased by something through those woods. At least you'd be able to see it, I guess, nice and bright, lit up. Well, I've, I've reached the coast. I need to skirt around the coast. No swimming in Noct. It's a pity. Never mind. Do with having a bit of stamina before crying about being thirsty as well. Boo-hoo, I'm thirsty, can't run, woo-hoo. <laughs> Still got further to go. I love the way the camera changes to the map, but that is very cool. I'm a fan I'm a fan of the look of the game. Look, med kit, what's that done? Nothing that I can see. I guess I should be looting. Rooting, tooting, looting all these buildings. Rifle ammo there. What kind of a rifle? Okay. Shh, shh. Oh, God. Ja oh, ja no, 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 no. Stay back. Yeah, screw you, crocodouche. Right, reloading. Good. Still going. My reflexes are getting sharper. Now I kind of know what the deal is. I need to work out how to do my grenades. I'm going to try LB. Oh. Yeah, LB grenades. No, I have no grenades though. <laughs> this is it. What is it? Some kind of big complex. Dam access is close by. I need to find that dam access. Excuse me, is this a goddamn? Oh, oh, God damn. Love Beavis and Butthead the movie. Even though I can't do good impressions. Well, then, right, pistol ammo, I shall take. Water ration, yeah, I shall take that as well. We'll probably sprint again for a little bit. So I'm inside a dam at the moment. And I don't give a damn. UMP. I'm going to stick with the um, 4A. What is this? UMP SMG. That's got more ammo. But the M4A one is probably... more... powerful, I'd say. There's a gun there. Pistol. Can't pick it up because I've already got a pistol. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, actually, lots of UP, lots of SMGs. 
is it worth going the SMG route or route because I'm not American and having more ammo I guess probably more ammo I probably just made a massive mistake what's that gun there there's a lot of guns here this is probably telling me that something bad's going to happen oh god right a grenade can I still fire the grenade who knows right I'll walk you through it, okay. Easy, one more, okay. Oh, I'm starting some fans or some generators. Power it up, yeah. Power it up! Excellent. Okay, shit, run, get out now. Oh, okay. What? Is there something behind me? I think I'm okay. Oh, God, no! There is, uh... I forgot, the oh, fuck, the grenade didn't go off! Holy shit! Ah, oh, you big tremor-looking beastard! Right, okay. Well, there we go. I think that's enough uh, knocks for you. Pretty scary, pretty tense, slightly unfair, bordering on the frustrating at times. Um, it's only an early access beta. Point one seven point eight B, whatever that means. So. Plenty of time for some polish to go on it. It's got a lot of potential. Um, and i definitely like to try it out with some like more people online. See how you work together with people um, like that. Whether there's friendly fire. Whether you can backstab people. A bit like DayZ. Um, that kind of thing. It'd be interesting to uh, interesting to check out. So I'll be, we'll be keeping an eye on this. And seeing how it evolves over time. Thank you very much for watching this first look at Noct if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to Eurogamer for plenty more video gamey goodness. Have a great night or day or uh, afternoon or evening depending on what time it is and where in the world you're watching it. I'm going to be quiet now. Goodbye. I never asked for this. Adam Jensen in Deus Ex Human Revolution is a prime example of the use of PTSD to give someone a backstory and personal motivation. Jensen's life is altered forever after a terrorist attack on his workplace robs him of his arms and, more importantly, his girlfriend, who is killed in the assault.